Hello you guys, uh, today I wanted to make a fast DKP video uh, So I'll just show you stats priorities and uh, Yeah uh, I'll go through jamming first uh, Your meta gem, always 54 strength and 3 increased critical effect This requires at least 3 red, red gems uh, when you jam and shunt, uh, try to stack as much strength as possible. You, uh, you can also jam. Uh, uh, let's see if I jam something like that. No, uh, you can jam uh, uh, twenty strength and twenty haste, but I really don't like that. Uh, or uh, you can go with that, but I don't like that, so it's up to you guys. Uh, your hit chance, th this is the something you need to get first. Hit chance must be at 8%. Eight, eight uh, expertise uh, at 26%, 26 out of 26. That's the cap, so you can't, uh, you can't get. Uh, uh, zero percent in uh, parry chance, unfortunately, in uh, bosses, but we can live with that. And then come haste. Haste will do so your runes ref uh, refresh faster, so you can use uh, more ability rates. And uh, yeah, I'll go through uh, with rotation a bit later. Uh, and then comes mastery. Uh, your mastery does so all your frost damage is increased, but uh, here's this still better uh, uh, and then comes uh, crit chance uh, now crit chance and master is something you don't want to reforge away you can okay you can uh, remove some crit chance if you want to but that's up to you uh, I prefer having, having some crit uh, crit uh, stuff uh, or quick rating when uh, I'm DPSing since I'm using this meta gem. Uh, talents. Uh, you can choose on some things here. Uh, like for example, I chose to go with Lichborn because uh, I PvP some or PvP sometimes and uh, dueling is for fun. And I'm not a hardcore PvPer on this chart. But uh, if you really don't want uh, any PV st PvP stuff, remove Lichborn and add an extra here. Uh, Peter of Frost is your strongest uh, cooldown in PvE or in and in PvP. Uh, this increases your strength by twenty percent. Uh, improved ice talents increase uh, medium range attack speed of all party and raid members within 100 yards by 10% and your own attack speed by 5% so that's real nice uh, you can also remove this and uh, go an extra here uh, increase your damage while your frost percent by an 5% in additional blood percent or unhold percent retain for 4% increased ruining power here ruination from uh, first presence in this guide I will go with uh, and holy presence while DPSing so this is good to have in the uh, in PvP you, sh you should be dual ruling and not going at 200 because 200 are in uh, uh, PvP and then holding blast this is one of your strongest abilities in AOE and in single target uh, and the uh, virulence uh, damage on your diseases you'll always have disease up so uh, this is real good to have and uh, increase your blood plug and frost fever by 12% this is so you don't need to refresh it all the time uh, so that's real nice Increase your attack power by 6% every 180 armor value. 
You get a lot of uh, attack power from this uh, since you're a plate user and uh, it's a lot of attack power to increase. And uh, when you kill an enemy, you get uh, 10 running power. Uh, and you, you generate 1 running power uh, every 5 seconds while in combat. Uh, I didn't uh, see that very useful since uh, uh, since it's like you only get those 10 running power when. Uh, when like uh, you kill ads in a boss and in some bosses uh, there are no ads so uh, yeah um, I've got glyphs uh, this is so since you'll be getting free holding blasts uh, I'm using this so it sets up a frost fever um, so I don't need to icy touch because holding blast does more damage however rate you will have this try it have this on cooldown like all the time and 20% is a lot and your frost strike so you can get those extra frost strikes during the battle uh, the minor glyphs are really well nothing to have in my eyes no damage increase at all ok so I'll go through rotation I use this trinket because I find it better than the water point one but it's up to you if you want to use the water point one on for this since it has a 2 minute cooldown and this has a 1 minute cooldown so I pop this and this at the same time so uh, when it goes off cooldown I just pop them immediately again uh, uh, and uh, the PV one has 1.30 second cooldown so I'll have to wait 30 seconds anyway if I want to combine Pillar of Frost and Trinket. So I prefer going with a PvP one. Okay, so the rotation is if you want to pull out extra DPS, have this out in the corner of winter. Ha have this up at all times. Uh, and then you start with Outbreak, Pillar of Frost and the trinket then I'll burn it until it goes to cooldown frost strike howling blast I'll burn so when you get free howling blast uh, use them right away since with this uh, uh, with this uh, set bonus you can get two instead of one when it procs and killing machine try using uh, obliterate have your diseases up, your blood plague and uh, frost fever. Uh, then you just go like this. Never waste your runic power and have it at uh, max and uh, not using your runic power. Uh, so never try to have max runic power, just try to get rid of it. Uh, and then uh, it will happen soon. Uh, or when you don't have any runes left then you go with blood tap so you get uh, an extra uh, rune so you can get off uh, rate and you'll have this on cooldown like all the time probably um, let me show you <sighs> most people are lazy and just uh, go with spamming hole and blast like here but go with one hole in dust play strike then pestilence so everyone here gets uh, the curse then you can start spamming uh, hole in dust and combine it with frost strikes and as you can see hole in dust is pretty strong uh, so that was pretty much it of the irritation guys uh, I can show you how high DPS I'm doing on a dummy. Uh, get away. Well, I guess that. Uh, well, as you can see, the f that diseases and curses are pretty pretty strong. It's like uh, 
see it when it quits 3.5k and that while you're out attacking Shadra and using special effect uh, special attacks. It's it's pretty it's pretty nice in my eyes. Uh, okay, if you're trying at your DPS and you have followed this uh, guide, uh, make sure you're hit, uh, hit, hit kept and uh, expert is kept because otherwise you will just miss and uh, waste your you will lose DPS if you're not hit and expert is kept. So gold out, outbreak, and then pillar frost. And I use this as well for project pushing. This is an extra shit you get, and it refreshes all your cool or all your uh, uh, other runes, and you get 25 running power. So that's pretty nice. will stop DPS when I'm at like 3 million DPS if you're noticing that you're missing or something like that uh, make sure you go to a Runeforger and or to a oh my god I forgot the name but, uh, a re uh, yeah Runeforger and uh, get that uh, fixed so you don't lose DPS And remember to have pillar frosted colons like almost all the time. Since it's only on a one minute colon, so. so you see, I'm not almost never losing my runes uh, because uh, I have a uh, 390, 393 item level, so. Yeah. Oh, I accidentally used that extra holding blast, but that's okay. Oh, I forgot to have my blood plague up. Sorry. Okay, so there we go. Uh, okay, I did how much? About 27k DPS, and that's pretty decent on a dummy, I think. Uh, and I just got my trinkets back. Mm. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. If you want me to do another guide and another class, doesn't matter what class, just comment down below and uh, and uh, subscribe and like. Thanks.